Hello everyone, my name is Kaya. I'm a freelance artist. I teach art on part-time as well. I went to Art Fashion Institute of Technology to study illustration for four years. But I feel like I learned the most is outside of school. So I wanted to share my personal experience about all the online courses. And of course you can find more uh, throughout a lot of people's suggestions, but I just wanted to share my personal experience uh, from, the, from, the, from, those, from those online classes. So first is from Schoolism. Um, I talk about it a lot, that it's a subscription base, $29.95 per month, and basically you can access to all the videos as pre-recorded, taught by professionals in the industry. And because I have a budget, so I choose the resources and lessons very carefully, and I want it to be suitable for me. Um, and a very good artist doesn't mean they are a very good teacher. Uh, doesn't mean that they are very good at teaching. I will grab a lot of different reviews from each person and choose the one that really suitable for me. So I feel like schoolism really give you a uh, freedom of choose the courses you like. It kind of just taught me the basic about everything, especially for character design. So the lessons I took was character design by Steven Silver, but I don't think his class is on there anymore, but you can go to his Steven Silver Academy on his own website and expressive characters by water tour characters for animated film by daniel ariega introduction for to visual development by victoria ying painting and lighting painting with light and color by robert kondo and dai suzumi and those are pretty kind of fundamentals and to letting you know to introduce you to every skill set. I have taken Brainstorm before. I heard a lot of people took Brainstorm, but I just have a financial um, budget for myself. So I took a very short term at Brainstorm to learn about digital painting. That course is kind of just teach you how to paint digitally and different way of painting digital. Art, I don't think exactly for me, but I should try out more in the future. And I took a CGMA class. Um, I don't really think that was really for me either. Um, I feel like the entire organization is not very clear compared to Brainstorm. But I also heard a lot of people have different lot of opinions. Also, the one I haven't. Take, I haven't taken before, but I heard a lot of good thing is Concept Design Academy, Warrior Art Camp, and Domestica classes. And then the last one I have taken recently was from Zach Red's Visual Development class. I really wanted to learn Visual Development recently, and I also feel like I am a better painter than a better drawer. There's a difference between that and I am looking for to find what's best for me to learn for a long time and I feel like his class is super helpful. And to access to his pre-recorded class is only $300. But if you want to get a feedback, you probably have to pay like $600. Also, as I said, I have budget, so I only took the pre-recorded and I feel it's super helpful for me already. All these online courses, Brainstorm, CGMA, and Concept Design Academy are all around like 700, 800 per class. That's with feedback included and that's normal for like a feedback class. I don't really don't have that much money to spend right now. So Zach Rad's class is perfect for me. Uh, Concept Design Academy have been open in person recently and 
it just there's a difference between doing an online class and in-person class and if I and I have looked through all their uh, curriculum curriculum for the upcoming season and there is not much about the for visual development for animation specifically that's why I really didn't go into it okay next for YouTube video I found it very helpful it's Bobby Choose interview all the professionals you can just google his names work-life balance for artists and I've been listening to almost all his interviews a while ago while I was drawing and just get a lot of insights uh, Marco Bucci I don't really listen to his videos that much um, I think his art style is just not really my art style but it's his video is very helpful for people who are zero learning skill sets because he kind of show why he his um, artist skill set before it's so whenever people are not really born with the talent or knowing art automatically you can also learn it by like self-taught and step by step and i feel like marco bucci is kind of those artists because he has worked his way out through it so he knows what to teach and what artists are looking for the best and also for uh, Laura Price, he's a visual development artist in the industry. He shares a lot of insights behind and for the artwork and her portfolios and also kind of explain the pipeline in animation. And then uh, Proko is also very really helpful. He, they kind of just like chit chatting about the life, work life balance and just make it casual for artists and then for podcasts i found it very helpful are the draftsmanship also was hosted by proko stan proko panko and marshall's van Dorf. kind of like discussing the artist struggle and life balance it was really good to put it in the background and listen to it if you want to you know learn more casual conversations second one is pencil kings uh, some of them are not updated anymore but still very helpful to listen to pencil kings art cafe the bancroft brothers animation podcast that one is still keep going i, I love listening to them and there's a very a lot of very uh, professional people who work in the industry for years creator society animation podcast is a reason new upcoming podcast i found interview mostly for um our directors so their conversation are very like deep and you kind of want to know what like the high up leaders are thinking when they make an animations next uh was animation happy hours so it's kind of three uh industrial professionals i think in the disney studios there are more like conversation between themselves and share about the practical advice for students and for job seekers even on their website they break down a very logical and kind of like the price the salaries for the industry it's a very logical breakdown so that's the podcast I recommended and have been listening for a long time for years last if you also like more like a visual person I highly recommended this book I learned the most about lights and colors through this book color and light it breaks down more like visually and you can kind of uh, processing slowly by reading and really like look at it not just like a video like go through it and you don't really memorize it in your head i have a lot of um marks this i feel like i learned about lights and color the most through this book so i highly recommend it if you want to learn about the lights and colors 
And then if you just want to get some insight about animations, this book a lot of people talk about. Survival Kid, um, Animator Survival Kid. And my senior at college, I really wanted to make a short animation. And this is kind of basically taught me like the basic of how animation works, the keyframe in between. I don't have like too much of a book, but I just found those two books are very helpful throughout my design in animations and careers. So if you're also a self-learner like me and you found some resource that helpful or what do you think about those classes, please feel free to comment or share or let me know. And if you think this video is helpful, please give me a like. I will share more in the future. And thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next videos.